Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm be showing you guys my mini Ulta haul. Some of the products I have pre-purchased um, a couple weeks ago and some of the products I've purchased recently. So if you enjoy any of these products, then give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump right into this video. Okay, so makeup brand I wanna mention beforehand is NYX because I know that people are gonna think either this video is sponsored or I have some like favoritism towards NYX, but their products are really good and they're super affordable. So I'll go ahead and start off with some of their products. So I'll go ahead and start off by mentioning their lip products since, that, since that's the product that I have least of. So my all time favorite is their lip products. So I recently purchased these three shades and this one is the Soft Matte Cream NYX lip shade London and I did mention this in my previous video and I said that London was my all-time favorite universal nude shade and once again I am mentioning that I just purchased a new one so that one is my old one and I know I have the new one right here no this one's a different shade but as you guys can see I have so many like if I just go into my bag I can pull out so many different shades I've purchased so many of their lip products because I just love them. I love the matte because it doesn't dry super matte, but it does dry like a soft velvety mousse kind of matte and I really like that about them. So I really do recommend their lip products. So this is in the shade London and then this one is in the shade This one is in the shade London, and this one is in the shade Stockholm. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I also have the shade, I believe it is Abdubai. I hope I'm not butchering that. They also have numbers up here, so I'll read it. This one's SMLC09, SMLC02, and 04. And then this one is part of their liquid suede shade. And I love this for Valentine's Day because I'm gonna create an awesome look using this lip shade. And this one's in shade 11. And the name of it is Kitten Heels, and I'm obsessed with the name. Oh my god. I'm just so excited to use that because I want to create a really natural Valentine's Day look. And I think it would be beautiful to just complete the look with that shade of red. It's like a universal, really bright, but at the same time, deep red, if that makes sense. Let's move on to eye products. This is the part where it's going to be a lot of NYX products. So I'll, I'll start off with first um, Wet n Wild products that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in my previous video. Okay. So I want to start off with Wet n Wild products that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in my previous video because I want to save NYX eye products for last because I know that's the main brand that I have a lot of the products of. So I want to mention these glitter liners by Wet n Wild and I know these are limited. This is the shade in black and then I also have the shade silver. And so I use it to either create liquid cut creases, liquid liner cut crease, glitter crease I should say and then I also do it to set the entire eye to give it a um, glittery but not too bright of a glitter eyelid but those are my all-time two favorite products from wet n wild all right so let's jump into the nyx eye products so the next products i'm going to mention is nyx loose glitter and i have the shade crystal here it's just a silver shade and i love these so much they're loose glitters and i oh whoops and I love using these to create a glitter cut crease. So it really gives you a dramatic glam look. And I got this beautiful shade. It is the shade Violet. It's like a midnight blue slash purpley-ish blue shade. Oh my god, I can't wait to create looks with this. I think they're going to be so amazing. And so those usually run for five 
$6.99 I want to say $5.99 or $6.99 but I think they're definitely worth it and I know Ulta a lot of the times has um like buy one get one free on NYX or buy one get one half off so I would definitely recommend you to buy those I have a couple other loose glitters hanging around here right now that I want to mention also I do have the J Cat Beauty glitters and so um I think these are definitely Definitely loose glitters you guys should purchase on. Not purchase on. These are definitely loose glitters you want to spend money on because they're so worth it. And one tip I can give you that I do is I apply eyelash glue all over my lid to get it the glue tacky enough for the glitter to stay. And another recommendation I want to give you guys, if you guys don't watch Daisy, I recommend you go to her channel and watch it. But she's recommended all her viewers to prime their lids with concealer and then not set it so i've always primed my lid with concealer but i set it and now i'm done priming it with concealer and not setting it and she said that it would give you a more vibrant um pigmentation to all your eyeshadow looks and it so works like if you guys can see this look oh my god like the yellow was so much brighter than usual i had to use less eyeshadow to get it this vibrant so i definitely recommend that if you're someone who uses eyeshadow primer i definitely recommend you to um use concealer because your eyeshadow will stay on longer i promise you that i used to use oh, dropping everything today i used to use um eyeshadow primer and i noticed that my eyeshadow would come off so i definitely recommend you to use um concealer and not set it and i promise you it'll do wonders for you so I'm going to move on to the NYX liquid liners that I'm so, so, so obsessed with. I have like basically almost all their shades. So I want to mention them because they're my all-time favorites. And I think you guys should definitely splurge on them. So this is the NYX Vivid Bright. And this is in the shade orange. Just like, oh my god. I have the shade orange that I bought in the fall. I also bought this shade in yellow. I also bought it in white. Then I have blue. I have bought those previous. So I bought them around the fall. And then I just recently bought these to create my Valentine's looks that I'm going to come up with. And so you have this beautiful like lavender pastel purple. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with it. And this one is a Vivid Fire is its shade. So it's like a red. I hope you guys can tell on camera. Because in person, it kind of looks like a hot pink. But I know for sure it should be a red. And then this one. Oh my god. I'm dying. I'm dying for this one. This one is Vivid Petal. Oh my god. Look at that. It's like a gorgeous like pastel pink. Oh my god. Let me swatch them for you guys. Oh <gasps> I'm like so obsessed. These are liners that I usually use to create cut creases or dramatic liner looks. And I'm telling you, I'm living for these. If NYX would sponsor me, I would like die. I would die because I'm obsessed with so much of their products. And I'm not even saying that, you know, I wish they'd sponsor me. Because then I'd have a reason to maybe lie about it, but I wouldn't be lying about it because holy cow. I love so many of their products and they're just super, super affordable. And you can find so many dupes for um, for, for high-end products using NYX products. My answer will always be... Oh, I cut out my nail. I'm wiping up my pants. So bad. My answer will always be... Um, buy the more affordable end products if they have like a dupe for the high end oh god I hope this one didn't dry out or turn watery because this orange looks like a cabbage watery ass shade i think it ruined guys it stayed open no! I'm gonna have to get a new one. What you gonna do, right? Because they're supposed to be super vibrant and they're supposed to dry matte, like 
within like 0.5 seconds and this like orangey color usually does and it looks to me like it's just not gonna do that today. It looks so watered down. I'm pretty sure it's because it was left open. I'm so sad. Okay. But let me just show you the swatches of these. Oh my Atlanta. As you guys can tell. Like look at them. The blue, the orange is like not dried down as you guys can see. Then we got the yellow, the white, the lavender purple, the red and the pink. Holy cow. Obviously the orange one ruined, so I can't show you guys that good. But the orange one is typically the same shade as the yellow. It's super bright and vibrant. But because it was left open, it's like super, super watery and like gross. So I'm going to have to get a new one. But NYX Vivid Brights are like the most amazing liquid liners that are so affordable and colorful shades. Like look at that. If you got an Ulta near you or if you just want to order online, girlfriend, get yourself some NYX Liquid Vivid Liners. They're the best item. Okay. So if you're looking for a facial oil, I definitely recommend the Pacifica one. It is a little pricier. It's $16, but I definitely think that it's worth your money because it leaves your face glowing, but it doesn't leave you with a really, really greasy face if that makes sense so if you have oily skin like me or combination skin i have combination in the winter oily in the summer so if you have that kind of skin type i would definitely recommend this oil to any skin types because it really really helps moisturize your face so i want to mention a product that i mentioned in my last video that i know i said i had just came out but this one is mario Badesio's lavender spray and oh my god i'm gonna spray it it just smells it smells like tea and I'm obsessed with it oh my god it's so amazing like I've set my makeup with that and moisturized it and used it for like everything and I'm so 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 obsessed with it I love Mario Badesio's facial sprays because they're like so affordable and I have like a million of them I have this one I ran out of my cucumber one and I have the rose water spray so you guys know these are like my current like all time favorites or just my all time favorite all the time but I definitely recommend you to get a Mario Badesio facial spray if you're looking for a facial spray that definitely moisturizes your skin. And it is for all skin types. So if you have oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, all skin types, go get it. So I want to go ahead and mention a product that has been out for a while, but I recently purchased it because my Ulta is always sold out of it. And then the Ulta in my town just recently opened up like a couple months ago. So the product I want to mention that I know everyone's obsessed with and most people probably have it is a Jaclyn Hill palette. Can I just like say, oh my god, look at this. I know so many people have already reviewed this palette, so I don't really need to say much like about it. But holy cow, it has so many transition shades right here. It has so many cute, cute, cute shimmers that you can use to create a Valentine's Day look. It has your deep, deep deep browns and reds right here nice little, like burgundy shimmery shade you got your champagnes and browns here you got your purples and blues nice deep browns as well you got some green so a pop of color down here your green blues your deep green like foresty shade then you got your browns plums and blacks and this palette can literally be used to create any look i started playing around with it today and i'm so 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 obsessed with it so if you want a universal palette that you can use to create any looks, fun looks, shimmery looks, glam looks, natural looks, I definitely recommend for you to go get the Jaclyn Hill palette. Basically, you can get two for the price of less than the Beauty Blender. And I'm not talking bad about the Beauty Blender because trust me, I've bought so many Beauty Blenders myself. But I just think if you want to go for a more affordable option, you should definitely check out the Morphe Beauty Blenders or their version of a blender because... This one is to contour and highlight, and this one is for, it's called Flawless, I believe. So this one's for foundation. So this one you use to apply all your foundation. This one you use to bake and sharpen up your contours. So I definitely recommend these. And of course, like I said, it's $7 for each. So you pay less than what you would pay for one beauty blender. All right, guys. So if you did enjoy this video or any of the products that I mentioned, then please give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.